Hi, welcome to another poem. This particular poem was written for the Royal British Legion a few years ago. It's an affectionate look at the true story of Sir Barnes Wallace and his famous bouncing bomb. It's called Buster the Cat, 1943 to 1943. You've heard all the stories, how terrible war is. Here's one more called Buster the Cat. He found out it's lies. Cats are blessed with nine lives. Buster only had two. That's a fact. The story I've written begins with a kitten, a flea-bitten feline mistake. Sadly unloved, in a sack he was shoved, then some bum threw the sack in the lake. The sack didn't sink quite as fast as you'd think and was saved by a chap called Barnes Wallace. As an aircraft designer, they don't come much finer, but at bomb making, Barnes was a novice. The cat wasn't well. He could tell by the smell. He was sad that some cat tried to kill it. The kiss of life worked. Buster threw up, then smirked, and so Barnes took him back to his billet. The cat soon recovered, but Barnes had discovered that cats weren't allowed on the base. He decided to hide it, and being a pilot, his bomber would be the best place. Now Barnes and his crew had a tough job to do. It was crucial and everyone knew it. His top secret plans involved blowing up dams, but he didn't quite know how to do it. For several dark nights, his reconnaissance flights flew to Germany's dams, which he'd map. And there on his lap sat young Buster, the cat, with his goggles and small leather cap. Buster and Barnes were like brothers in arms. He was pleased he'd adopted the Tom. He worshipped that cat, but forgetting all that, Barnes had still not invented a bomb. The more that he tried, he just couldn't decide how to blow up the dams. He was stuck. Then one night in May, Barnes discovered a way, thanks to Buster, who'd run out of luck. Flying that night, a reconnaissance flight, to take photos of dams with his crew, Barnes wasn't aware that his cat wasn't there on his lap. Buster needed the loo. Barnes flew to a spot that would make a nice shot, while his cat had found somewhere to poo. But Buster forgot and decided to squat on the hatch that the camera pokes through. The camera was ready, Barnes held the plane steady. The cat at the back, long forgotten. Barnes pulled on the catch, which dropped open the hatch, just as Buster was cleaning his bottom. The cat looked surprised as he fell from the skies. He'd been dumped for the second time now. To lessen the fall, Buster rolled in a ball. Then he did what cats do. He went meow. Like a lamb to the slaughter, the cat hit the water. The camera recorded it all. You've heard of cats swimming? Well, this one went skimming and bounced off towards the damn wall. Now Barnes, minus cat, said, My God, what was that? It looks just like a cat, he exclaimed. And then in a fluster said, Damn, that was Buster. And that's how the damn Busters got named. Meanwhile the cat hit the dam and went splat. Then he slid down the wall of the weir. Barnes was upset that he killed off his pet. He was gutted, but had an idea. It wasn't too long before Barnes built a bomb that would do the same trick as the cat. To the world he announced he'd a bomb that just bounced. Within days they were made, just like that. The bombs were deployed and the dams were destroyed. Barnes Wallace was more than just merry. They made him a sir, but he'd always refer to the story as Tom versus Jerry. Thank you, and thank you to uh, Sir Barnes Wallace, and thank you guys, whoever you are, for listening to this video. If you want to watch some more, please uh, subscribe to Nigel's Funny Rhymes. I'll be putting some more on in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye and cheers.